What's going on everybody, it's Jack. Welcome back to this week's YouTube video. Today, as the title and thumbnail say, we're gonna take you guys through a 2,500 calorie full day of eating. And to clarify, this is my current calories on my cut. I previously made a 1,600 calorie and a 2,000 calorie full day of eating. A lot of those are just examples for people out there that might be at the 1,600 calorie or at the 2,000 calorie mark for their example full days of eating. I currently am not at 1,600 calories. I'm not at 2,000 calories. Sorry for the confusion, I'm currently at 2,500. I'll be very clear in my Summer Shred series exactly what my calories are, my refeed days, my cardio, stuff like that. But a lot of times full days of eating and recipes are just examples for you guys to have. But I get a lot of questions about how to turn my 3,000, 2,500 calorie diet into a 2,000 calorie diet. So a lot of times for those people, I'll just go and make a 2,000 calorie full day of eating that they can follow, but it's not what I personally follow. So that's something I just want to clear up. But first things first, on my full day of eating today, 2,500 calories, which is my current calories on my cut. I have a protein shake, two scoops of transparent labs, we're using the milk chocolate flavor, 28 grams of protein per serving. So that's about 56 grams in the protein shake, as well as a banana. And I just always use almond milk personally. Um, it's very low calorie, tastes a lot better than water for my protein shake, so highly recommend doing that. But real quick, the macros for this meal are 32 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 59 grams of protein for a total of 390 calories. If you guys have watched the channel before, this is my breakfast pretty much every single day for the last almost year or so. I'm sure it will change as I get deeper into prep. But yeah, super, something super simple, protein shake, banana. It takes no effort in the morning. It literally took me two minutes to put together and that's me breakfast. I'll see you guys at a real meal, what I call second breakfast. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Sit, sit. Uh -huh. yeah. Gentle. Stay. Nice. For the first real meal of the day, we're making some eggs and potatoes. The potatoes are currently in the air fryer. Just take a rusted potato, chop it up, spray it with a little olive oil, salt, pepper. Um, I think they're in there 400 degrees, I think 13. I think I said to 13. I normally do 13, 14 minutes, something like that. We're also gonna have some eggs on the side. We're gonna do one whole egg. We're gonna do three servings of these egg beaters or egg whites, um, basically just pure protein. We're gonna do half a serving of butter in the bottom of your pan, as well as the key ingredient, feta cheese. This is absolutely phenomenal. Right here, this is just um, from Kroger, but private select. Also, um, this is plain on a cheesy egg. You can really use any sort of fat free cheese. Um, you can use cottage cheese. I've been seeing some videos about that as well. I'll have to give that a try, but right now for me, feta cheese is just the go-to. So we're gonna put some, yeah, cook some eggs in the pan. And pretty simple breakfast. All you have to do is really air fry and then cook some eggs. I'll we'll show you guys the final product and we'll go over the macros. Also, real quick, I was just reading over basically like what the difference between egg white and an egg beater is, which is, is an egg beater. It says made with egg whites and has the vitamins and minerals of the egg shell. You see that right there? So I don't know if they like grind up the egg shell and add it in. Also, there's definitely some yellowing, but right here it says egg whites um, and then less than 1% of xanthan gum guar gum and some coloring but yeah i guess they take um some egg shell and also blend it up in there not sure why but I, they taste great so i'm not complaining and just like that we have our breakfast or our meal number two whatever you want to call it we have as i mentioned a russet potato this comes out to be 411 grams specifically for this potato once again potato sizes will vary throw it on the scale um just see how much it weighs and then calculate it in your macros also as i mentioned eggs 150 grams of the egg beaters one whole egg uh, and as well as seven grams or half a serving of butter on those. A little bit of olive oil spray. I do calculate about 30 calories of that in the macro as well. And then an orange on the side for our citrus. But this is great volume. Once again, I think potatoes are one of the more filling carbohydrate sources, at least for myself. I know when I eat rice, bagels, bread, I'll be hungry pretty quickly after. When I eat potatoes or sweet potatoes, they fill me up for a long period of time. So I love having those in my cut. And then as I mentioned, the feta cheese, we use one serving or 28 grams. Absolutely delicious, but yeah, let's go through the uh, macros for this meal real quick. It comes out to be 670 calories, 90 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and then 38 grams of protein. This is also typically my pre-workout meal, but I'll actually have like another snack before I go and work out typically. So this is about probably about maybe two, two and a half hours before I actually am working out, which gives me plenty of time to digest all this food, the protein, the carbs, the fats. And I'll also have the Rice Krispies and an app before I actually go to the gym about 30 minutes before. But yeah, we're gonna dig into this. I could actually probably eat this meal three times a day if it was socially acceptable. It's great on macros, extremely filling, high in protein, tastes amazing. So give it a try for yourself, let me know. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna dig into this. And then we don't work out today, but I'll still probably have like a pre-workout meal just instead of actually going to the gym, which is gonna take Maisie on a nice long walk. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. 
The next meal, as I mentioned, is gonna be two Rice Krispie treats and an apple. Like I said, typically my pre-workout meal, but since today, we're just taking her on a walk instead of going to the gym, I'm gonna down these and then take her on a nice long walk. Still getting our 10,000 steps, even though it's an off day from the gym, we're not training on Saturdays. Uh, real quick, let me read off the macros for this. So this snack comes out to be 275 calories, 59 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. Once again, these are primarily quick carbs before a training session, but in this case, our training session is gonna be taking Maisie. Maisie, wanna go for a walk? Huh? Do you wanna go for a walk? Maisie, do you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, she's excited. <laughs> she's excited, so we're gonna go for a walk. I'll see you at our post-workout or post-walk meal. Sit, no, sit. Sit, sit, shake. <laughs> Alrighty, here we have, I think, technically meal number four, but typically my post-workout meal. We have a tortilla soup right here. Um, if you guys do want the full recipe, just look at my channel. I think it's literally called like, healthy tortilla soup or low calorie tortilla soup, something like that. But basically it's chicken breast, taco seasoning, chili powder, uh, can of beans, can of corn, can of enchilada sauce, can of tomato with green chilies. And then that's just basically in the crock pot over there, slow cooked for five to six hours. Obviously the recipe is also in the cookbook, but in my opinion, a great way to meal prep some high protein options. We're also gonna have some almonds on the side and these things are like crack. I swear these blue diamond, blue diamond almonds Honey roasted, I mean, once again, I've never tried crack. I don't know what crack is like, but I'm rewatching Breaking Bad right now. And I swear the people, the way they act for crack is, I mean, these things are just amazing. So we have a serving and a half of those, as well as we're gonna measure out a serving of our reduced fat cheese right here. Throw it on the scale, zero it out. Let's see. I've done this so many times, I should be able to eyeball it pretty well. A little bit more. We want 28 grams used. It, it says 28, trust me, it says 28, so. Pretty much perfect. After you do things for a long time, you kind of get used to eyeballing it. Um, but yeah, so we have this meal right here as well as the almonds. Once again, this is pretty much pure protein in and of itself with some carbs, very little fat. So that's why we have the almonds on the side to add a little bit of fat into our diet. Real quick for this meal, the cheese, the tortilla soup, and the almonds, uh, serving a half of almonds, it comes out to be a total of 772 calories, 55 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat, and then 79 grams of protein. We have two more meals left for the day to hit our 2,500 calories at our 200 grams of protein, but this is a great post-workout meal. Like I said, lots of protein, some healthy fats in the almonds, and in my opinion, it tastes delicious. Now it's time to make a smoothie, and this is kind of like the micronutrient bomb for me for the day. Obviously, you see, I eat a lot of fruit throughout my day, but honestly, vegetables, Still right now, I'm um, just coming off a long bulk. I still don't have the appetite for a lot of volume food. So this is an easy way for me to get a serving of spinach into my diet. Once again, fruits and vegetables will only increase as I go deeper and deeper into a cut. But coming off a cut, once again, I'm not super hungry. But we have um, this private select uh, frozen fruit, which stays good forever, which is great. This is a blueberry strawberry mango blend. We're gonna use one and a half servings of that. We're gonna use one serving of our spinach. We're gonna use half a serving of honey, which comes up to be, I believe, 10 grams. Um, spinach is like 40, 50 grams. Uh, the actual fruit is, let's see, 140 times 1.5, 210 grams, and two cups of almond milk. So we're gonna measure all that. I have my scale here, go ahead and zero it. Also, Maisie always gets some blueberries, so I will give some to her. And just like that, we got our smoothie right here. I'll read the macros. I mean, this is pretty much just purely carbs. A little bit of protein. Um, I literally don't think there's any fat in here, but let me double check for you guys. So this meal number five comes out to be 222 calories, 40 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and four grams of protein. It's pretty much pure carbs, as I mentioned. This is great for volume. Um, I don't recommend drinking your calories a lot, but honestly, when it's a smoothie like this, this is so much volume. I'm gonna sit down, it'll probably take me maybe 20, 30 minutes to drink, just gotta watch TV and drink it as I go. We're gonna turn the sauna on, get that heated up, so we're gonna do the sauna tonight because I didn't work out today. I did take Maisie on a nice long walk. We're currently sitting at, let's see, 9,620 steps. But I like to get a sweat on, so we're gonna take a sauna uh, before we shower. And then we have one last meal of the day. It's just gonna be some Greek yogurts, but I'll have those. Read off the macros for those, macros for the entire day. And yeah, that'll wrap up the full day beat, but I'll see you guys then. Also, real quick, I didn't show you guys Maisie actually catching, um, so we're gonna do that real quick. She's over there. Let's grab some blueberries. Let's see. There's gonna be something left. Ready, blueberry right here. 
See it? All right, ready? Nice, good catch. We got another one. One more. Blueberry, Maisie. Yeah, good catch. She's a stud, what can I say? It's time for our last and final meal. As I mentioned, two Greek yogurts. These are the Dan and Light and Fit. I think last video, unfortunately, I said Yo Play, but hopefully these zoom in. They are the Dan Light and Fit. These are 80 calories each, 12 grams of protein. So the final macros for that meal comes out to be 160 calories, and then 16 grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, and then 24 grams of protein, bringing our total of the day to 2,501 calories. 293 grams of carbs, 62 grams of fat, and 205 grams of protein. And that's a pretty typical day currently on the cut. So I'm having 2,500 calories um, five days a week and then about 3,000 to 3,100 on two days a week. So kind of refeeds just as my body gets used to the deficit, those will definitely come down. But right now the refeeds are pretty much just used on the weekends when I wanna have dinner out with the family. We had a brother's birthday dinner the other night and I used a lot of calories for that. So something like that, but typically those refeeds are pretty much just strictly carbs, but hitting about the same protein and fat sources or protein and fat macro numbers. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll go ahead and end things here once again. Just a full day of eating. The previous full days of eating, once again, were just references. When I say this is currently what I'm eating on my cut, but I'll make sure to clarify that in future videos, telling you guys if this is just a recommendation uh, for someone on the lower calorie mark to eat, or if this is what I'm currently eating. But the the whole shred series is definitely everything about like what I'm currently doing, and then the full days of eating and everything else is just tips and tricks for you guys. Because once again, I want the channel to be a resource for anybody who wants to get in better shape, lose weight, build muscle, whatever it is. So I wanna have resources on the page that I might not necessarily need to use, but someone else might need to. But yeah, without further ado, on the video here, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace.